we are once again on the bridge of the USS George Hammond. Luckily for you gentlemen, we are with the gorgeous Elise Levesque, who plays <laughs> Chloe Armstrong in Stargate Universe. Elise, mm -hmm. could you please tell us a bit about your character, Chloe? For sure. Um, Chloe is one of the civilians on board the Destiny. Uh, she's probably one of the most out-of-place characters that you'll find on the ship. She comes from a very different background than a lot of the other survivors. She is the daughter and aide of a United States Senator. And as such, she's sort of grown up in the lap of luxury. She's never really had to want for anything. Probably hasn't had to work as hard as a lot of these other people to get to where she is. You know, she's not accustomed to dealing with loss and um, sacrifice and struggle. You know, obviously life on board the Destiny is a huge shock to the system for her. She has to overcome being trapped in the Destiny with all these people. How does she cope with that? What happens is you start to find people who help you cope and it's the relationships, um, the friendships that she makes that give her the strength to keep going and to keep fighting and actually I think for her it's the first time she's found people who really appreciate her for who she is and she can kind of let go and be herself. Um, I think, you know, she grew up kind of with a popular crowd and was always trying to be who they expected her to be. And here, you know, none of that really matters anymore. Um, and she finds people who genuinely um, love and care about her. What do you think it is about Stargate that people love so much? I think a show like Stargate is great because it's really hands-on for its, for its viewers. It kind of gives them like a launching off point to discuss their theories on things, on, on politics, on science, on space and exploring what's out there. It gives them a lot to think about and a lot to talk about. It's, cool. it's very interactive. What has been um, the challenges for you playing this role? It's been fun getting to discover new things about her, build up the layers. So that's been a challenge. And then obviously acting to a tennis ball is never easy. Mm, mm. So that's a huge challenge for sure. But the payoff is great when you see it all kind of put together and you're like, wow, that's, that's what it looks like. Wow, my imagination's really not very good. Obviously working on a sci-fi show, the script's going to be a little bit uh, funny at times. Have you ever come across a really kind of... I have a great line tomorrow. Give me a great line. Ready for this? Okay. Yeah. Actually, many advanced alien civilizations found in the Milky Way and Pegasus galaxies lived in what appeared to be primitive stone architecture that concealed extremely powerful technology. Well done. And then you just got to remember to breathe. Yeah. There's the plenty like that that you have yeah, to learn. Yeah, yeah. Those are rare for me. You're working today. Mm -hmm. You're on set working. Mm -hmm. um, from a fan's point of view who's, who's going to watch this interview, I'm sure they'd love to know what you're doing today, what particular scene you're shooting. Is uh, there any kind of action you're involved mm, in? What, what's, gosh, today? What's your agenda today? We discover uh, a planet and, and we want to go check it out. I'm kind of convincing them that I have the skills set to lead us on this expedition. Finally, mm -hmm. if you don't mind, would you like to deliver a message to sure. the viewers at home? Sure. What's going to be exciting about Stargate Universe? Well, guys, what's going to be exciting about Stargate Universe is that you're going to be taken on a journey that you've never been before. And I think you are going to fall in love with these characters and relate to them and uh, really just lose yourself in the story. Um, yeah, I think we've got something really exciting for you. So. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank Thanks. you, Elise.